their basic blue bonnet 101. Okay, we double load our brush, but we have white on one side and blue on the other. So if you notice, you have two colors at the same time. And you do a little back and forth thing just to get it kind of blended into your brush. And then the second time you go into your color, half blue, half white, and then you don't back and forth. You're ready to roll. Okay. So what I do, the chiseled edge is that little skinny edge. What I do is I just touch the chiseled edge to the paper, and voila, you have two colors. But then I go down, and I'm just dabbing. Look, I don't even have to look. I'm just kind of dabbing. <laughs> and you see how I'm making a blue bonnet. It's white on the end. You go back in a little blue, a little white. Okay, and, and you get it. it's a little thicker as you go down. Doesn't it look like a blue bonnet? It's got the little white on the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then when I'm done with the main part of the blue bonnet, I usually like to give it like a little wispy kind of thing so it's like that little mm -hmm. tiny bit that's mm -hmm. at the top. So Ooh, then voila. put another one next to it. Maybe go in this direction. I'm touching, and I always do it kind of like at an angle. You can give yourself a little guideline, skinnier at the top. Getting a little fatter at the bottom. You can always go in and say, maybe well, I want more white, so I'm not going to dip in the blue, I'll just dip in the white. Okay, get myself that little wispy. And you always do things in threes because it makes it look better. Okay, so I'll put another one here. Skinny at the top. And see, I'm just dabbing, but I'm dabbing straight up and down it. bottom and then going back down to skinny, okay, and then through the magic of television, I'll leave that there. Now I'll do the green, okay, half white, half green, first time, back and forth, green and white. Now I'm going to give myself a few little stems on the chisel day. See how it's skinny? Mm -hmm. Very skinny. This fat brush can do skinny if you just touch it very lightly and skinny. Okay, go back into my paint. Now I'm going to do a leaf. I'm going to start down here. I'm going to touch skinny. See how it's skinny? Now I'm going back, 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 back. And now I'm coming up skinny, skinny, skinny. Okay, mm. need some more paint. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put one here. I'm skinny. Now fat, fat, fat. And skinny, skinny, skinny. I couldn't even go fat again like a little twisted leaf. See how pretty that is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I can even have them kind of coming up through the middle, but I'll stop where the flower is and then kind of continue off of there. Okay, you can mm -hmm. even give your little over there. <laughs> oh, look how cute. There's not enough paint. Mm -hmm. I'll leave my eyes open this time. And go over it. Nice thing about acrylic, you can always go over it again. And then I like to do a little just squiggly. I get in the corner of the green paint a little bit watery, so it's almost like ink, and then I'll just, with the, the tip, the very tip, and, and not touching very much, just very lightly give some little squiggly, see where it's kind of off, and it's not really touching everywhere, but you can do that with your eyes. <laughs> okay. Voila! 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 Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. We can touch the button and we're done.